No, that's not Starkey <laughs> seated to my right, as should be obvious to any close uh, observer of the, of the low post. And you will recognize this face if you are a close reader of the Sunday News. It's Paula Wolf, a.k.a. the wheelchair quarterback. What do you think, Paula? How are you doing? I'm fine, Mike. Thanks for inviting me on the show. You Appreciate got that. it. You got it. And we're going to talk Phillies because okay. that's uh, one of each of our favorite subjects. And the Phillies are, are, as we were just talking about, they're one of two teams in the major leagues that, have won, that are playing 600 baseball or better. And um, things are going well. They seem to be in control of the race in the National League East. And what we're going to do today is talk about all the things that are wrong <laughs> with the Phillies. How about it? Sounds good to me. Uh, pitching. You want to make a deal to get a starter? You know, I would have said yes uh, a couple weeks ago. Now I'm just a little bit more reluctant because of how well um, Antonio Bastardo has pitched in his first two starts. Um, I mean, now, I think eventually I think people are going to catch up to the fact that he throws mostly fastballs. Well, that's what I was just going to yeah. say. I, I think I think, I think Bastardo is going to have to right. mix it up a right. little bit, right. uh, although he's, uh, yeah. he, he throws hard with movement. He does. I he mean, does. That, that makes a difference, great. too. That's a, good, right. Uh, right. that's a good start. And he seems but, very – he seems to have a, a great uh, approach. I mean, he seem, doesn't seem to be overwhelmed with being in the major leagues. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, right. here's a guy who pitched, I think, only a few starts in AAA. And, you know uh, – Hap would not be in the rotation. Hap, who's going to pitch tonight, as, this right. is, as, we, as we tape this, um, and he's been very good. Yes, he would not be good. in the ra- rotation if it was not for the Brett Myers injury. So, right, right. And, and he's been very good, too. And, and, you know, lots of times pitchers who don't have the, the name or the reputation right. uh, or, the, or the track record can be just as good as right. guys who do. You know, that's just the nebulous nature of pitching. I mean, I'm not sure if it's good, better to wait or not. I mean, what do you think? Should they... Well, here, here's what I think. I think that there are about there are about if you want to really look throughout the major leagues, there are about 15 pitchers out there who either don't have a team right now or who are on a non-contender right. that might be looking to make a deal around a trade deadline. A month from now, there's going to be several, two, three, four, or five of those that are worth having. So I, I, I certainly think you wait a month. Right, uh, I agree. At, at least, and, 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 and see what's out there. And, and but some teams are still in the race now that won't be in the race a month from now. Well, or, that's right. As yeah, you're that's, saying, I guess yeah, that's yeah exactly. Point, right. And, and uh, you know, some guys are going to be available and and, and so, I mean, there's even some people who think that Roy Halladay is going to be available. I can't he, believe that. He's it's not. Just, Forget I know, that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's nuts. It would be but, a dream, but it's not going to happen. Uh, but, I mean, I'm, but there are names out there. I think right. it's possible that Roy Oswald will be available. I think it's possible yes. that, that PV, although that's really a long shot, yeah. I think he, he could be out there. Uh, you know, I saw Jason Marquis got his eighth yes, win yes, he's uh, pitching really last well. night. Uh, and, and you have guys, uh, uh, Paul Bird and Pedro Martinez and Ben Sheets. and uh, I mean, there's names out there. The Phillies should be aggressive. And also, the other thing is, this is something that has not been true a lot in recent years. They have prospects Absolutely. that are tradable. I saw an article, I think it was in the Inquirer on Sunday. They talked about, like, untradables or not untouchables, and they had people that you would think about and then ones that you would think more I mean, you'd be more willing to trade. They had like three categories. There were quite a few names on that list. I mean, I was shocked. There were probably at least 20 names there. I mean, in the past, you might have had, uh, you know, uh, people would talk about Carlos Carrasco as their best pitching prospect. He's been that way for a couple years now, and there was nobody else on the radar yeah, screen. Yeah, right. Now they have probably half a dozen other people. That, yeah, I'm not but, saying they're as good as he is. But, but nobody nobody was talking about Hap. No, then, no. And nobody was talking about this Bastardo. Then. Right, right. And he's uh, not even, I don't think Bastardo was even in their list of top 30 prospects. But in Baseball America to be in the season. Just, it's just an incredibly right. – pitching is just right. not so land. I mean, there's no way to – there's no way They to do. I mean, it. they have I – mean, Another they have, thing yeah. that's wrong with the Phillies, right. Paula, is that they have four or five – how many is it blown saves by Brad Lidge? And if Six, not, they might, be, <laughs> they might be really in control of right. the National I know, League. I know. So, so, so what do you do about that if you're if, – if anything, if you're Charlie Manuel? Well, I – I'm sort of on the fence about that because, like, like a week ago, I was thinking they should put Matson in the role, and now I read an article. Uh, I guess it was on MLB.com by Todd Zalecki, who covers the Phillies, used yes. to be for the mm-hmm. right for the Enquirer, sure. sure. and he was saying that the players really love Manuel because he sticks with them for a long. I mean, he's, he's patient with them the way some managers wouldn't be. And and Liz told a story about how when he was with Houston, 
he got pulled out of the closers role after blowing one save. Well, but here, here's <laughs> so, the thing with that. Right. We've reached we've reached this point in the evolution of in the long right, evolution right. of baseball where where players get in these ridiculously narrowly confined right, roles. Right. And, and and I'm not sure if you can. I'm not sure if Charlie Manuel has enough power to to change right, that. Right. But but it's going to change eventually. Right. Fifteen fifty years from now, there will not be closers the way we currently think right. of closers because it doesn't make any sense. And think about the think about this idea. We only have one guy on our team who can pitch the ninth inning when we have a lead, but not too big a lead. Right. We only have one guy on our team who can do that. Right, right. That's not so. So I don't. I mean, I don't. You could, I guess you could beg. Yeah, you could certainly argue that Manuel's being a little too. Uh, but well, I think I mean, he's being typical. I think typical, most managers right, right. would be that way. So I'm not sure what we. I'm not I sure. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he that. looked. I didn't actually see the games in the weekend because I was working. Well, uh, yeah, I guess the. Paula, come on. <laughs> well, um, but anyway, the, the one I, I saw the for Cal home run, and it was. I didn't think it was really a bad pitch. It was a low. Now, of course, he golfed it out, but it wasn't like in the middle of the strike zone. It was right. a pretty, you know, right. Not really. And a fat one pitch. of the one of the other blown saves last. Of course, week was, was an he, error he by. Didn't get hit. Or, yeah. Right. So. Or the error by. Um, um, I mean, we don't, want to go, we don't want to go. We don't want to go nuts about right, about right. Lidge, but this idea that we he has right. to be in this ridiculously narrowly defined role right. where it's going to mess up his psyche and right. nobody else, no other pitcher has the mentality. I, I think yeah, I think we need to. I mean, he looked like when he had the string of five saves in a row before the two blown saves, he looked a lot better. He had a, he had uh, like a ninety five mile an hour fastball. Um, well, I mean, he seemed if, to have his velocity back. He's got to make people miss back. Right, he does. He's, he's got to make. He's got to miss back. And he's, he's walking got a slider and, he's, and, and the slider. People just aren't swinging at, at it the way they did last year. Yeah, it's not really a strike, and I guess they know that, and they're not taking the bat off their shoulder. So it's it's you know there is to some degree a fine line. With right, right. I mean, what do you think? Do you think they should put Madsen in there? Or yes, what? I think okay. they should use Madsen occasionally in, yeah. in ninth inning situations. Yeah, I, I mean, do. they have enough setup men now that I mean, they have. You know, Condry's pitched very well. He could do the eighth. And Romero, Romero looked good the first couple times out. So they have other guys who could pitch the seventh and the eighth. Um, and Ayers even pretty good too. I mean, he's more of a, but he's pitched a half inning sometimes. So now he's not on just a left the other, guy, the but. other side of this deal uh, is that they're leading the league in in runs scored per game. Right. Uh, but that's not good enough for us, Paula. <laughs> they can still fix a couple right. of things, such as they need another right-handed hitting. Bench player and especially an outfielder. Absolutely, Eric um, Bruntlett not going to get it no, done. No, no. I mean they had I mean, they had maybe up there for a while, but he clearly should be in AAA because he wouldn't get enough at bats in the majors. I'm assuming that's why they. I mean, obviously. I think that's did. right. Yeah, I think that's right. And I mean, they tried in the off season to get a whole bunch of different people. They you know tried to get Nomar no Garcia Parra. He signed with Oakland. They tried to get uh, uh, Ty Wigginton to sign with the Orioles. Um, and you know, you know, uh, yeah. Mayberry. If if Ibanez was going to be the defensive liability that everybody right. thought, then you could you could right. use Mayberry as a defense a late inning replacement, right. and maybe you are getting him enough work then. Right. But but everybody everybody thinks Ibanez I mean, I think has been an, great defensively. They have an extra pitcher right now, don't they? I think they have because they only have they have Bruntlett. I think that's right. Yeah. Dobbs I think they and Coast on their bench. I mean, they only have like four I mean, they have I think Tashner, who's yeah. I'm gonna probably get rid of Tashner. Maybe yeah. I don't know. I mean, but these guys are not going to help right. them right. offensively. Right. That, I mean, they need an extra pitcher when they when their pitchers are only going four or five innings. Now they're going deeper into games, so their bullpen probably doesn't need that extra arm. And you also have a leadoff man who who can't get on base right. and, and and can't hit right now. Right. So thankfully, a couple days ago, Charlie Manuel moved him down in the order. Right. Which is an example, which is kind of a related thing, mm-hmm. maybe not quite the same. As moving Lidge out of that role, right, I mean, right, I, I'm right. glad to see Charlie do that from the flexibility right. standpoint. Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, Phillies are in first place. We're not happy. <laughs>